What's up guys, this is Saurabh and in today's video we will be looking at how do we create a Linux virtual machine on Microsoft Azure. So as you can see I am on my dashboard and I hope so that you also have logged into your Azure account and you are on your dashboard. So let's get started. So I'll go to virtual machines. We can also click here directly but I will go to virtual machines. Then I'll click on create virtual machines. We need to fill some details or rather I would say provision the virtual machine. Alright so we can take Red Hat Enterprise Linux or Ubuntu server. Let's go for Ubuntu server. I'll take this one. 14.04 LTS select the deployment model you have two options classic resource manager just pick resource manager don't worry about the classic I'll not go into details but Microsoft recommends that you use resource manager deployment that is what they suggest and it's uh, it's relatively new earlier they had the classic deployment model so yeah you should prefer using resource manager deployment name ubuntu server vm disk type ssd hdd we'll go for ssd username i'll type saurabh we have two options for authentication SSH public key which is famous in the Linux world and password both work what we will do is maybe we will try with the password approach first and then maybe uh, in the same video or in the next video we will try with the SSH option so I'll click on password and then I have to give a password it should be between um, 12 to 72 character all right okay password is done subscription select your subscription resource group um, I don't have any resource gray uh, resource group created as of now so I'll create a resource group location west central us that should be fine looks good click on ok next is choose the virtual machine size now this is important depending upon your needs so what I'll do is I'll click on view all I want to see more options mm. so as you can see there are various options and their monthly rent estimated in the local currency in my case it's INR all right let's use this ds3 underscore v2 or we can also take this we are not going to do anything let's start with this select all you are going to do in this video is just create a linux virtual machine on azure login uh, or rather i would say uh, via the command line we will be interacting with our virtual machine uh, yeah high availability set no it's um, it's like you have multiple virtual machines in your availability set uh, just to give you you know more reliability or I would say more availability 
if one of your virtual machine goes down the other can take up the jobs and service the requests so no availability set in our case as of now storage um, use manage manage this yes and if you want if you want more info you can just click or hover on this information picture here and it will tell you what exactly it is used for default size 30 looks good to me virtual network it has already created subnet looks good public ip address now there is a catch here public ip address now this address can be dynamic and static now what does that mean if you create a virtual machine with a dynamic public ip every time you restart your virtual machine you will have a different public ip i believe that it should be static so that the scripts i have created to interact with my virtual machine uh, works properly because i don't have to change the public ip whenever i restart my virtual machine so at least make it static and click on ok because of this even if you restart your virtual machine you still have the same public ip extensions no extensions required auto shutdown yes at what time 7 pm every day anyways uh, you can configure as per your need time zones whatever notification before shutdown no i don't want a notification monitoring is enabled guest os diagnostic disabled looks good diagnostic storage account i have not created a storage account so it is creating a new one for me looks good backup disabled okay we are good to go i'll click on okay it's running the final validation and it will give you some sort of summary in the end that you can see and then click on ok this option download template and parameters you can give it a try it's mostly for automation maybe we will delve into this sometime in future so as you can see this is the summary mostly whatever we selected is present here in the form of a short summary all right everything looks good to me i'll um, i'll check this and then i'll click on create now as you can see it's submitting our deployment and within a matter of few seconds Our virtual machine will be ready now this may take time um, one minute sometimes or even more than that so meanwhile what I would like to tell you is that when you create a Linux virtual machine you mostly interact with it using a command line interface now there are various options for that uh, you can use Azure CLI that is Azure command line you can use bash uh, you can also use the bash on Windows if you are not on a Linux uh, PC, uh, Linux PC I would say um, and most importantly if you want to RDP to your Linux virtual machine that's a different story uh, because then you have to install a desktop environment and uh, RDP server onto your Linux virtual machine so that you can RDP to your Linux virtual machine and you can have that uh, graphical user interface so maybe we will take that up in the next video where I'll be telling you how to install a desktop uh, environment and a desktop uh, uh, an RDP server uh, a RDP server onto Linux virtual machine so that we can RDP to our Linux virtual machines have a graphical user interface and do the things that we want so we'll take that up in the next video what we'll do now is once this deployment is complete we will 
use uh, bash for windows because i'm on a windows machine i'll open my bash i'll type bash hit bash and once our virtual machine is created we will use the bash to interact or i would say ssh to our linux virtual machine that is the typical way of logging into your virtual machine a linux virtual machine now if you don't have bash on your windows machine or if you are not on linux so as i told you there are various options like azure cli you can anytime install it you can just download and install it uh, microsoft has a good reference for doing so and the other option is bash for windows if you are on windows 10 then you can install the linux subsystem on windows 10 otherwise you still have uh, for example you still have win bash so you can click here and go and install the bash for windows should be pretty straightforward if you still face an issue just make sure you comment it down and i'll try my best to help you guys a pretty straightforward task anyway all right so looks like our linux virtual machine is created ubuntu server and yeah here's the public ip 52161182327 uh, one important thing uh, that I would like to tell you is that uh, we have something known as inbound rules. Uh, for example, if you are able to SSH to this Linux virtual machine, that's because that inbound rule is allowed. So I'll click on networking here. And we will see that the inbound rule for port 22 The inbound rule for port 22 is open. That is why we will be able to SSH to our Linux virtual machine. Uh, in the next video, when we try to RDP to our Linux, virtu Linux virtual machine, we have to open an, an other port. Another port. All right. So let's go to overview. Our next job is to log into our Linux virtual machine. So as you can see, there's a connect button here, click on that. So it says to connect to your Linux virtual machine using SSH. Yes, that's what we want to do. Use the following command. So I'll copy this. I'll go to my bash paste and hit enter. It should ask for a password. Are you sure you want to connect in? Yes okay now it is asking me for a password just because we chose username and pa uh, username and password we have uh, we have been asked for a password if we uh, would have used ssh uh, authentication um, so that, then we have to take the public key and uh, paste it on the azure portal i'll be taking that step too but let's log in as of now for uh, using the password so which is so I've entered the password awesome so as you can see we are now inside our Linux virtual machine so what I'll do is uh, maybe I'll just run a command sudo apt get update to install any possible update and as you can see it's running perfectly that's it that's it guys i hope this was informational and maybe in the next video uh, I'll be using uh, the SSH uh, authentication in which we will have a private and public key and uh, we will use that to log into 
our Linux virtual machine. In this video, we used the username and password approach. In the next video, we will have the public key approach. Thanks for watching on, and please subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned for more. And if there is anything, please comment down. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.